Hello. I want to take the time today to go over this free automation tool that I use a lot in my business and to help with my blogging. Um, it's really been a game changer for me. So I wanted to create this video to help some of you. Um, I know it's going to be super helpful. For one, it's free. I mean, and plus it works really, really well, I think. Um, so I'm kind of going to go over today what it is how to use it, some of the different um, aspects of it that I use. There's so many different aspects, but I only use a couple. Um, so yeah, so we'll just get started. So it is called, the automation tool is called IFTTT, or it's called If This Then That. <clears throat> so if any of you have used this in the past, um, you'll notice that um, it's called any of the different tools that you use in here are called applets instead of recipes. They used to be called recipes. Um, so we'll just take you through this um, website here. So up at the top, you'll see there's a discover section. And since I've already been using some of the applets, it kind of recommends some for me. Um, but up at the top, you can go to search and it'll recommend some of the different um, social media platforms. There's New York Times, there's Google Drive. There's so many different things that you can automate in here. Um, but so it takes some of the ones that's recommended for me, but you can go down and see different categories. So for instance, they have a blogging category, they have a business tools category, um, communication, uh, I mean, you can even go into like lighting and um, there's even photo and video, social network networks is a big one. So tons of different options. Um, and then up here, I'll take you to my applets. So the ones that I'm currently using and some of the ones that I've turned off that I've used in the past. Um, so one of the ones that I use, um, Two of them are for, well, all three of them are for Instagram. Um, but the first couple are that I save my Instagram photos to Google Drive, and I also save them to Dropbox. Granted, I probably don't need to save them to both. I just do. Um, so whenever I would post a photo to Instagram, it will automatically download into a Google Drive folder and a folder in Dropbox. It automatically comes up with the folder name and everything. You don't even have to do that. So if we'll go in here, it tells you a little bit about what it does. It says automatically back up all your new Instagram posts directly to Dropbox. And you just click on, and you'll have to set up your Dropbox and all that stuff, put in your username and ID um, and password. But um, it'll tell you when I created it. Um, when it last was ran, and then how many times um, that I've used it. What's also nice about this is it'll show you how many people are using this specific applet. Um, so 51,000 people are using this, this one alone. Um, so that's kind of cool to see. Another thing I wanted to point out is once you make your applet live, and you click this on, um, you can go over, it'll have a gear here, and it'll just take you into even more detail. So like I said um, a little bit ago about determining what folder it's going to be saved to, this, you can go back in the back end and kind of um, tell it like what to name it. Um, so right now I just have it as the, the caption, but you can go in here and choose the URL or anything like that of what you want it to be named. Um, and then this is what my Dropbox folder is called, um, Instagram slash my photos. Um, but you can name it whatever you want, and then you just click save. So it, whenever you do make an applet live, you'll usually have the option to go in here and tell it like what caption you want. And then my this is my favorite one to use. I love it. Um, so this automates my Instagram photos directly to Twitter. Um, we'll go in here. And it saves it as a photo in Twitter. So I have my Twitter account open. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, 
so if we go down here, so this was a photo um, I took on my Instagram account. And this was actually like the caption. It did cut it off a little, and that's totally fine because there's only so many characters on Twitter. But it takes the caption and it populates the photo. And it also gives you this link. So ift.tt. So what's the app that we're using? So if you were to click into this, it takes you do directly to my Instagram photo that I had, which is kind of nice. So then people can um, immediately like click over and they're right there into your Instagram account. So if they wanted to, they could like just click on my profile and follow um, and that kind of thing, which is super cool. So there's that. And that is one that I love to use. And they do have in the past, I used one that would automate my Instagram to my Facebook account too. And that's pretty nice as well. Once my computer. Okay, so I wanted to go over some of the different things you can do. Um, if we go down to social networks, I mean, there's tons of different services and networks that you can use um, so I always like to look at how many people have downloaded it and it kind of shows you okay this is a popular one it must be a good one to use um, so let's see I thought this was kind of funny um, so you could automatically wish someone a happy birthday on Facebook um, interesting so It'll automatically just say the words happy birthday on whatever friends you have on Facebook. Um, 67,000 people are using that one. Um, so, like, think your new Instagrams to a Pinterest board. So, this one would be a good one. So, what it would do is it would take your Instagram photos and it would populate it to a board on Pinterest um, just of your photos and it would have a caption and everything populated and it does it automatically I mean, you don't have to do anything like once you post on Instagram it automatically posts on in, our um, Pinterest as well um, I'm just kind of gonna go through these with you um, I mean there's things like Foursquare you can automate um, keep your Facebook and think um, so then if you wanted to just look at ones for like Instagram, you would just take this here. Um, okay, scroll down. So yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Post your Instagram photos to a Facebook page. Okay, so this is interesting. I've seen some people do this too. So you'll share an Instagram photo on Twitter only when you include a specific hashtag in the caption. So it's just like what I showed you, only it would specifically post your picture on Instagram to Twitter if you use that specific hashtag. If you didn't, it wouldn't post it, which is kind of nice. So if you don't want everything to go over to Twitter, you have an option to specify which ones you do want to go. Um, so this is kind of nice. I actually might play around with this one. Um, share Instagram to Dropbox. I have that. Um, I mean, some of these you can just play around with, honestly. It there, there's so many. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, so see here, you could take your Instagram photos and um, create an album on your phone to use automatically. Um, yeah, so like I said, so many different options. I've never used, um, so there's a blogging section. So if you wanted to use, like if you have WordPress, you could click in here and see the different, um, different features and different applets they have. Um, but you could treat your WordPress blog post so um, it would just take um, probably the caption of your blog post and put it onto or onto Twitter whenever you would publish a new post. Um, so yeah, so many different ways to use this app, and like I said, it's free and um, it just saves so much time. Um, I 
like using the Twitter and the Facebook from Instagram because Instagram has been my favorite from the get go. Like I focused in the beginning on Instagram and Pinterest. Like those were my two main social media platforms that I chose to focus on. And I would suggest focusing on a couple and not focusing your time and energy on all the other ones because you just don't have time for it all. And this makes it easier to automate those processes to go over to other platforms. And yes, there are social media schedulers, which I do. I love Hootsuite. I use it. Um, it's free. I also use the Facebook scheduler to schedule out Facebook posts, but um, this just makes it easier. So whenever I would, I actually do go into Instagram and post um, on my own. It's not automatic at all. But when I do post, I can make these automatic to my other platforms. So anyways, I just wanted to come in here and tell you guys and show you what it's like on the back end and how to get things to work. But a lot of it is kind of trial and error, like figuring out which ones you think would work for you and turning on um, the button here and seeing how it works. And <laughs> if it works for you, great. Um, and yeah, just play around with different um, applets and see what works best for your blog and business. All right, and that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video about IFTTT and learned some new tricks about automating your social media and blogging and all the things. Um, until next time, friends. Bye.